Hello, this is Jeff at Magical Fruit Tooths. In this Photoshop tutorial, we will stylize a map of Wheaton, Illinois. We will use the wood texture map style. I also will demonstrate how to use Place Linked to quickly turn the map into different looks using a gold texture and using a bamboo texture. If you have not yet done so, you should view the Photoshop Map Arts Basics tutorial on this channel for instructions on how to make the basic map and to export it to a Photoshop PSD file. First, you should create a basic Wheaton map using the open source TileMill program and the MapZen.com Metro Extracts downloads to retrieve the map data files needed. For Wheaton, I use the MapZen Metro Extracts to get the Wheaton USA locality extract. Then downloaded and uncompressed the Chicago metro area shape files. Notice that when you downloaded the Chicago metro area in MapZen, where Wheaton is in relation to the area to be downloaded. If you have a problem displaying Wheaton in Tile Mill, see the example at the end of the Photoshop map art tutorial on this channel. To make it easier for you, I have placed the Cardo CSS code for the Wheaton basic map in the description area for this tutorial. Make these changes to the basic map code if needed. I did not use any water layer as there is no major water areas in Wheaton. Large roads change line width to 2. Small roads change the line width to 1.5. No airport runway code is needed for this city. Open up the Wheaton Begin Photoshop file. Right click and rasterize the Wheaton Street Slayer. You may want to crop your image for easy framing. The city image is essentially square. Open your crop tool, set to square with a 1 to 1 ratio and adjust the crop so the map is centered in the area. Make sure to leave room on the bottom for the city name text. Click the big check mark to accept. Now bring the cropped area up to the original 4000 by 4000 pixels that we want. Choose Command or Control plus Alt or Option plus I for the image size dialog. Changes the width to 4,000 pixels. The height should automatically change. Rename the Layer 1 layer to City. Name the Wheaton Streets layer to Streets. Move to the City layer. Make a new layer below the City layer by holding down the Control or Command key while clicking the Add New Layer icon on the bottom of the Layers panel. Name the layer Land. Save the file as Wheaton as we want to have Wheaton Begin available in case we need to start over again. With the Land layer active, change the foreground color to number 3E93CA. Press Alt or Option plus Backspace to fill the Land layer with this color to make the city stand out better against it. This map is not meant to be accurate, but an artistic representation. So next we will simplify the city shape. Make the city layer active. Turn off the eye of the streets layer. Open up a standard hard brush. Alt or Option click the city yellow to sample the color. Start simplifying as demonstrated. Fill in areas mostly surrounded by city proper. These areas are usually unincorporated areas that are not officially part of the city, but are contained mostly within it. Here is the result after these changes. Add a stroke layer style. Increase its size to see if any problem areas show up. If they do, you probably missed an area or two. 
Just zoom in and paint over the problem areas with a brush. Right click on the effects and select Clear Layer Style. Next, add a mask to the city layer. Use a black brush in the mask to remove any little jutty city boundaries or smooth out indentations. Or you could use the polygonal marquee tool. Select the area, press Alt or Option plus Backspace to remove the selection. Deselect. The city shape should look something like this when you're finished. We want the shape to end up smooth and have no sharp angles. Next, to make the streets white, make the streets layer active and turn on its eye. Control or Command click the thumbnail. Your background color is white, so press Command or Control plus Delete to fill the streets with white. Deselect. Control click the city thumbnail to select the city area. Select the Add Layer Mask icon at the bottom of the Layers panel. Now the City Streets layer has only the streets inside the city showing. Next, we will outline an empty border around the map. On the Streets layer, your mask should still be active. Control click the Streets Mask. Select Modify Contract 36 pixels. Go back to the Streets Mask. Inverse. Alter Option plus Backspace to fill with black. Deselect. Now use a black brush in the mask to clean up small street areas partially removed as shown. Here is the image after cleanup. Next, let's get the wood texture set up. Open up a document. Choose the wood texture. A link is in the description area. Choose the crop tool at a square one to one setting. Adjust as desired. Click the big check mark to accept. Unlock the background layer. Choose Command or Control plus Alt or Option plus I for the image size dialog. Change the resolution to 300 pixels per inch. Change the width to 4000 pixels. Move to the hand tool. Save the image in your project file as squarewood.jpg. Close the image. Open back up the Wheaton map. Make the land layer active. Choose File, Place, Linked. Choose the square wood image. Press Enter. Delete the land layer as you don't need it anymore. Control or Command J three times to make three more linked copies of the square wood image. Rename Copy 3 to Text Wood. Rename Copy 2 to Street Wood. Rename Copy to City Wood. Rename the Square Wood image to Land Wood. Move the City Wood layer above the City layer. Add a Color Overlay Layer Style to it. Blend Mode Darker Color. Opacity 18%. The color box should be black. Right click and choose Create Clipping Mask. Next, to style the city, make the city layer active. Here is the city after adding layer styles. Some of the important bevel and emboss settings used were Style Inner Bevel, Technique Smooth. Depth 334%, size 18 pixels, 
angle 120 degrees, altitude 10 degrees. Some important drop shadow settings used were opacity 57%, angle 120 degrees, distance 21 pixels, spread 7%, size 7 pixels, and contour linear. Next, to style the streets, move the street wood layer above the streets layer. Make its opacity 55%. Clip it to the streets layer. Add a levels adjustment layer to it. Click the clip to icon. Change input levels to 97, 1.57, and 231. Make the streets layer active. Here are the streets after adding the bevel and emboss layer style. Some of the important bevel and emboss settings used were Style, Inner Bevel, Technique, Smooth, Depth, 178%, Direction, Down, Size, 5, Angle, 120 degrees, and Altitude, 10 degrees. Move to the top layer. Press T to open the text tool. Choose the Centered Text option. I used Pump Demi Bold LET font at 80 points strong. Open the Character panel. If you don't have one, choose Window Character from the menu. Select the Tracking drop down and select 75. Type your text below the city. Press the big check mark to accept. Right click the city layer and choose Copy Layer Styles. Go back to the text layer and right click and choose Paste Layer Styles. Adjust the drop shadow style distance to 16 and the opacity to 60%. On the bevel style, adjust the depth to 178 and the size to 10. Next, drag the text wood above the text layer. Clip it to the text layer. Hold down the Alt key while dragging the color overlay style from the city wood layer onto the text wood layer. Let go of the mouse. Make the text layer active. To center the text as needed, select the Move tool. Use the up and down arrow keys to adjust the city text vertically. Press Ctrl or Command plus A to select All. Click the Align Horizontal Centers in the Options ribbon. Deselect. Choose the Hand tool. Before we make final adjustments in Camera Raw, I will show you why we place linked the wood texture. Make the text wood top layer active. Right click and choose Relink to File. Point to your project file. I have made a few different square texture files in the project directory. They are all the same size and resolution as the original square wood texture we have been using. Here I have selected the gold texture file. Notice that all instances of the original square wood texture have now been replaced by the gold texture. Now to repeat the relink again. This time choose the square bamboo texture. Now repeat the relink again. and choose the original square wood texture. Now we are back where we started. Next we will make final adjustments in Camera Raw. Move to the text wood layer. 
Press Ctrl Alt Shift plus E to make a snapshot. Right click and choose Convert to Smart Object. Choose Filter Camera Raw. I use these settings. Temperature minus 14, tint minus 8, shadows plus 1, clarity plus 13, and vibrance plus 12. Next, click the Tone Curve icon. Change the lights to plus 6. Click OK to save your settings. This concludes the tutorial. Hope you've liked it. Here is the final image. Coming soon, downtown Chicago using the modified cut map style.